Good morning, Chin Gang. My vacation is over. I am leaving Jamaica today. I'm not ready to get back to the cold at all, but it is what it is. I'm just trying to not focus on it too much right now. Probably like nine o'clock right now. And I've been up since like 5 30, 6 o'clock. I always get up early here, which I actually love. And I go to sleep really early as well. My flight is at 3 30. I'm not gonna leave till probably like 12. But I have to pack up the stuff that I'm gonna be bringing. Like my grand aunt gave me some sugar cane. Um, grandma fried some fish yesterday. I'm also bringing some breadfruit. Um, what else am I bringing? And oh, Aki. All right, so let's go eat some breakfast. We're having breakfast. Uncle made. How come I don't see the oats in here? Uncle made porridge. This is cornmeal and oats. Having breakfast with granddad. Hey, look the people that I do. Say hello. Hello. Uh, we go to with my granddaughter. <laughs> I'm here the poor. Eating with my granddaughter. <laughs> with the first granddaughter. Mm. I'm his favorite. In here. <laughs> mm. Porridge good. Mom say good until me done. <laughs> <laughs> so only when you finish it you prove that it's good? <laughs> I'm getting dressed and this is the same sweats that I wore here is the ones I'm going to wear back. I was going to wear my jeans and I was like, eh, I don't really want to be uncomfortable on the plane. And um, I had this top and it was kind of tight. So I was like, nah. So this is the only sweats that I have. I'm going to bring my top and my jacket and my carry-on. You know, it's hot as heck right now. So that's why I wore this top. Also going to wear some my sneakers. I'm going to put my socks in my carry-on as well. So my socks, my jacket, and my sweater to this is going to go in my carry-on because it's going to be cold. Granny is over here. Bring one of these zip bag off for me, please. She's putting together salsa leaves for me. I boil this and so like the stick and the leaves together. Or like this if you want it strong. Okay. Okay. And a piece of this. That. That has to go in the pot? Yeah, man, you just wash it out. No, this little piece right here. Yeah, man. Why? I thought but the they... stick. The yeah. stick with it. I thought you just need the leaf. No, no is it? No, you can't put the stick and the leaf. Stick mm -hmm. and then the leaf. The can't the leaf come from the branch. Oh. Mm -hmm. This is the branch and this is the leaf. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that alone is going to make it nice and strong. That this little like bit right here. Pop tea. Okay. Mm -hmm. good you guys look what she did she put she really did that <laughs> the breadfruit the aki all the stuff that was in the freezer Glena. what else 
You're good with this stuff, cause I wouldn't know where to do what to start. You'll learn though. You'll learn Yeah, so you'll know how to. So do where it. does the fish go? I'm gonna put it in there too. I'm gonna wrap it in between the clothes. The clothes. Mm -hmm. Foil. He has to prevent him from soaking through and waking up your clothes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is Aki. So wrap it in the cleaner first, eh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then I'll get another bag. Prevent your clothes from looking too damp. Mm. And wish to. Alright, so put some air on. So, miss, we're gonna stuff this in the middle here somewhere. What is this? Something to spoil? Put the darker things in the corner so we can just put them here on it. Like. Don't what like is when dark? Oh, the jeans can I go just here. Shake the line, just shake the line, so. This is the bread fruit. And this is your wrap. What is in here? Um, like lotions. Okay. Well, I can go down a little bit in the middle. And then don't forget this bag. Yeah, man, I'm going to put it on top. Oh. And then this is the fish. Fishy, fishy, fishy. In the corner, like this is what a key. This is the air key, and this is the what? Which, this is the bread fruit. No, this is the the raw aki thing. You know, so you can be there do anytime speaking to me, and I can show you when you're ready. I'll text you anything. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. This is what again. This is the fever grass. All of these can stay. One some air in here. Let out some of the air. Let out some of the air. Mm-hmm. So we get too poofy. I'm going for the scale just to check. You don't put the fish them in here? No. Oh, okay. I put everything in the suitcase. Make it move now. Let me see. Oh, yeah, man. Because they're going to what happened? Okay. Ah, uh, is your tick ticky? Mm -hmm. Yeah, my dear food. Uh, would you think that means you're um, yeah, yeah, pocket book back? I have it. We have it, okay. Is it in No, it's around in the room. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, okay. let's go. Right, it's time to go. The full uh, part that you play towards us. We are very grateful. Yeah to you for her and therefore she about to leave now Lord so we have to go before go before push back the force shoot out your orange your light and scatter the wicked enemy and grant your divine presence and protection with her and others who went journey together. God bless you all and go forth in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you Daddy. Blessing to you and God bless and Take care of you as you tell to hear from you. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. and from there. Right, love you, Daddy. Yes, yeah, same to you. Bless you and keep you and safe journey. Mm -hmm. And love, 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 love. Mm -hmm. Love you. Love you too, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Love you. Okay. All right, we are on our way to the airport.
get this? This is so cute. finally it's like 9 p.m. I'm so tired super long day I got a lot to tell y'all about but before that um, I want to pack out the stuff that I brought like the breadfruit and things like that and the ackee that needs to go back into the freezer I'm not even gonna unpack or anything like that tonight just put the clothes to another day like I'm so exhausted I just want to jump in the shower and go to sleep and you know so crazy like I feel like my body is still on JA time because well I mean it's still the same time like I feel like my body ever since I've been in Jamaica I go to bed so early there like I get so tired sleepy around like 7 8 o'clock at night and when I'm home it's just like I don't my sleep is so off but <clears throat> I'm definitely feeling it very very sleepy so I can't wait to shower and jump right in my bed oh yeah I was very surprised like the breadfruit was so frozen and my aunt did a really good job with fo putting the foil, you know, wrapping it up in the foil and also the newspaper and then a Ziploc bag. So shout out to her because honestly, not one leak, not nothing. My clothes is dry as ever. Let's pack up this stuff. Look how she wrapped it up so good. <laughs> she really, 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 really wrapped these. Uh, uh, like she did the thing um so yeah oh I thought I had more breadfruit than this <laughs> and my aunt offered me some breadfruit you know but the thing is like my fridge my freezer is not big at all so I didn't really want to get too much but I could have gotten another bag I'm not gonna lie I really could have gotten another bag whatever it's all right so yeah I got um some breadfruit. Ooh. I actually got two bags of Aki. So I got this one because y'all know I sometimes buy the can, the Aki in the can. But this is the real deal right here. And I'm so grateful for it because the Aki in the can is cool. But it's always better to have the real deal. You know what I'm saying? I got some sugar cane. You know what? I want some right now. How big this bag is. I'm about to have a ball. Mmm. I got some um, fever grass. This is a tea. Like you just boil it and you drink it, so it's gonna be a tea. Also got um, Cersei. 
so softly. If you boil this and you drink this as a tea as well. I got some fish and oh shoot. I told her to cut the head off because I hate to look at the head. So these are some fish. You know what? I'm going to have this tonight. This is exactly what I'm going to have because I'm really um, hungry. So I think I'm just going to have one fish. I'm not even going to eat it with no breadfruit. I mean, I could, but honestly, I'm so tired. Like, I don't think y'all really understand my level of tiredness right now. So I'm just going to munch on one and that's it. Last but not least, I got peanut drops my aunt made, my other aunt, and um, and some gizadas. So this is how the gizadas look, just in case you're not from the Caribbean and you never heard of them before. Let me show you. Don't ask me what the heck it's made of, what's in it, because I don't know. I think coconut, something, I don't know what, else, what the crust is made from. I have no clue. It just tastes really good. <laughs> So that's how it looks. This is the peanut drops. So it's just peanuts. Like, I don't know, but peanut drops, okay? Okay. <laughs> Let's have a little chit chat while I eat. This is sugar cane. So I'm going to be munching on some of these. Uh, mm. I swear, these are addicting. Like, literally, they are really addicting. Let's talk about holding in my tears, holding in my emotions. The thing is, right? If anybody else is like me, but when I tell you my crying when I miss my grandparents, it's to another level. Like, it's just to another level. And I just didn't want to do that because I remember the last time. Like, I remember I had somebody in the airport ask me, like, you okay? Because my eyes get so bloodshot red, like, I can't stop crying. Every time, like, I think about them, my eyes ball up. And when I tell you today, I just found it so crazy because, like, I really try my best not to explode. Like, I literally try my best not to. Like, y'all didn't see it. When I was in the car, like, I was just crying, you know, like, just thinking about them. And while I was on the plane, the moment I just think about them, like, my eye, it's like I've been controlling it all freaking day. I feel like I'm going to go into my little shell when I take a shower, go in my bed, and I'm just going to cry. I don't know, like, I'm just that attached to them. I really love them so much. But um, I'm really, 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 really proud of myself. It took a lot of mind control because, you know, like, whatever you really focus on is going to happen. So, it really took a lot of mind control for me today. I'm not even going to hold y'all. Like, it really did. I had to refocus on things. I had to get my mind off of it. I had to, it was just, I don't know. But, um, anyways, I spoke to them already, um, as soon as I got in because I know grandma was worried. But, um... She can sleep good now, knowing that I'm okay. Thank God I am home after my three weeks of vacationing. I really needed that, and it just really, like, I came home. It's crazy, because usually, like, I was even thinking about Uber Eats. Like, even though I have fish and the breadfruit, I would just, like, Uber Eats because it's easier. And it's, like... This goes to show that w what you surround yourself with and who you surround yourself with really has an influence on you. Your environment is such a big impact on your life. And I think it's important for people to know that because it's the simplest things that I'm more conscious about now. Like I said, I usually order Uber Eats and I was just like, eh, I got my bread food in there. I really don't feel like making it. But because I was there and I kind of see how they function, there isn't really no, there's no Uber Eats, there's really no deliveries. Like, there is deliveries, but it's not really, people don't really do it like that, that like they do here. They cook their own food, you know what I'm saying? So, me not really having that and just accustomed to certain way of living, I've just been so used to doing things my way that when I went there, just really put things in a different perspective for me. So, now I came home, I just put the breadfruits out and I'm going to go fry it. So, you know, little things like that is just, like, impacts me in a big way. I really needed that getaway. I'm more inspired than ever. I'm more motivated than ever. 
um, is something that I needed. Being an introvert is, it's cool until, you know, sometimes I'm not going to lie, you know, I really wish that I had somebody, you know, to talk to about certain things. You know? I mean, I love, y'all know I love being by myself and I love being in my little shell because I feel like without that, I mean, you don't have to be like me. I'm not saying that. You can definitely have friends. You could definitely have, you know, whatever. But I just feel like making time for yourself is so important. And I do spend a lot, a lot of time with myself because I don't have friends. So it's like, you know, I I love it because I get to understand me. I get to know me. I get to know what Chin likes, what Chin don't like. I'm really, really blessed to be able to go and see especially my grandparents <clears throat> just to see them and spend time with them I had a wonderful time it was a wonderful very very wonderful trip I'm so grateful for my grandparents like oh my gosh they're just the best they are the sweetest and my grandfather he's such a wise man like he's so wise and we see eye to eye like he gets me you know and I get him and um i see so much of myself in him it's crazy because he's so spiritual and he doesn't let anything bother him and he he's just so peaceful he's like me like well i'm like him i'm so much like him it's crazy so glad that you guys love the jamaica vlogs man i'm getting um messages and i'm really really it's making me really happy you know for me to share my family and my a little bit of my life with you guys I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.